Do you have a multi-minute YouTube video that you want to quickly transfer over to Instagram? But you don't want to take all the time in order to get it into the right frame size and, and duration required for Instagram. Well, I'm going to show you how to save a lot of time in that transfer. Let's do it in Resolve. One of the nice new features of DaVinci Resolve 16 is the ability to create separate timelines. Now we've had that feature before, but now you can actually set up different resolutions, different frame rates, all within the same project file. That's extremely helpful when you've got either different cuts or you have uh, different purposes for your video. For instance, if you've got a YouTube video that's maybe say three minutes long, but then you wanna put a certain portion of that on Instagram, rather than having to uh, customize the, the resolution of your main timeline, you can actually uh, utilize a secondary timeline uh, to do that very easily. So that's what we're gonna actually go through. That's the use case that comes up for me the most often. I've got the main project timeline here where it has a, a series of clips up to about three minutes long. So for Instagram, I have to have it less than 60 seconds. Also, I either wanna do it in a square format or a four to five ratio. So what we wanna do is go into File, New Timeline. I'm gonna call it Timeline 4. Use Custom Settings. And in here, you can go into the format. You can set the resolution. In this case, I'm going to set it for square, which is going to be 1080 by 1080 uh, for my video on Instagram. I'm going to set this for scale full frame with crop. I'm going to leave the, the timeline at 24, but the key here is this is where you want to change it if you ever need to do that. Uh, obviously, you may want to go slower. You typically don't want to go faster, though. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and create it. Okay, so we've got our timeline here. What I typically do is take the original timeline with the full video, in this case it was three minutes long, and drag it onto the timeline that I want for Instagram. And because of my setting, you'll notice that it already has the crop, it's, it's filling out of the screen. And now all I need to do is just find roughly 59 or 60 seconds or right below, just uh, below 60 seconds. Let's go right there. I can just take the blade tool and cut it. And if this is just a straight, um, the first 60 seconds of the of the uh, the overall video clip that I wanted to post, then I'm done. Um, if I don't, if I want to just get pieces of the overall clip, then I have to do some level of editing. But it's a lot less than using the original clips. Okay. Now, obviously, you have to consider how you want to handle your your music and so forth. In this case, if you look here carefully. Um, the position is exactly where I want it to be in most cases. Now let's say that I wanted to adjust the position. Um, it's not as easy with that setting of just moving it here because you can see that there's a crop. So you're gonna all of a sudden bring in the letterbox effect or the black bars. So what you would need to do is to go back into the settings to change the timeline. So I'm gonna right click on the timeline, timelines, timeline settings, and I go back in here, format, and instead of scale full frame with crop, which works really well if everything is centered in all of your video, if not, it, as is the case of this demonstration, I'm going to say scale entire image to fit. Okay. Now it's basically the 16 by 9 video that I can then choose how I want to crop it. So if I want to position it, I could zoom in. And then I can position this as I see fit. And if one image I want a different position than the other, all I have to do is take the blade tool and then cut it up in between each of those, those uh, places. And then I adjust individually each one of my uh, clips that I've uh, created there. One of the most important things about this when you can edit on this new timeline is, is the changes are non-destructive for your main timeline. So any changes I make or to editing that I do here to timeline one in the fourth timeline are non-destructive. So it has no impact on my original timeline. As you can see, everything is just fine. Nothing has happened to this at all. No changes, 
no changes, no edits or anything have been affected by this. And so that's what makes it so powerful. So now all of a sudden what you can do is set up a structure where you've got a timeline that's just for Instagram and the other one maybe for YouTube or for whatever production that you have. And it makes it much easier to group it within the same project versus, say, creating an Instagram project and copying it over there like uh, many of us have done in the past. Okay, so that's all there is to this. If you've got any questions, uh, please leave those in the comment section below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.